Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone to High Rollers. Last week we checked out the latest Heritage Auction. Next week we're going to check out the latest Golden Auction. Uh, this week we're going to switch back to eBay, see, uh, see what's going on over there. Check out the first week of, uh, of September for, uh, for eBay sales. Top 10 features three vintage cards and uh, a player appearing twice who has both a vintage card and a modern card. That's only the second time in High Rollers history that that has ever happened. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, check it out. we got uh, honorable mentions at the end as always, but for now let's look at the top 10 highest sports card sales on eBay in the first week of September of 2022. Opening tip off at number 10, 2016 Select Black Prism, number 286, LeBron James. The card is graded a BGS Gem Mint 9.5 with average level subgrades for the grade to get a 10 for edges, but a 9 for centering. And the Black Prisms from 2016 Select are one of ones. Sold an auction for $27,301. Uh, it's the first time this card's ever sold, so no really no real good comps to go off of. I would have, uh, yeah, the price strikes me as maybe a tad high, but not, nothing uh, nothing crazy really. It is obviously a uh, BGS Pop 1. Number 9, 2012 National Treasures Autograph Material number 325, Russell Wilson Rookie. Graded a PSA Gem Mint 10 with a nice, uh, I guess we'll call it just a two-color patch, but a nice two-color patch. Card is serial numbered out of 99. Sold uh, as a buy it now for $27,420.99. There were actually two copies of a PSA 10 that sold a little over a year ago for around 80 grand. So quite the drop since then, but like I said, that was over a year ago at this point. A more recent cop is a BGS 9.5 sold last month for uh, 18000 So compared to that, this one sort of uh, lines up correctly. It is a PSA Pop 11. Number eight, 1956 Tops, number 135, Mickey Mantle. The card's graded a PSA Mint 9 with an OC qualifier. OC stands for off center. Uh, and yeah, you can see the card is uh, pretty off center there, top to bottom as you look at the photo. It's the gray back variation, and other than the top bottom centering, everything else looks, yeah, it looks, like, looks to be at the mint quality. Centering left to right is really nice and everything else. Very clean uh, back. Uh, back photo is a little blurry, but also appears to be at the mint level. Listed for thirty nine thousand five hundred and sold as the best offer for thirty grand. I'm not quite sure what to make of this sale. This price is extremely high. Uh, PSA nines do go for six figures, but when you have a qualifier, you generally want to drop it one or two grades. Uh, PSA sevens go for about seven thousand, and PSA eights go for about seventeen thousand. So anyway, you slice it. This price is uh, is very, very, very high. Something to be aware of, and I'm not saying the seller did anything shady here intentionally, but they included a 52 Tops reprint with the listing, and then they call it a reprint and, and include a photo and say this is a reprint just as a throw-in. But because they did that, this card no longer qualifies for eBay Authenticity Guarantee Program. The eBay Authenticity Guarantee Program is only for singles. So, so this listing here is for a two-card lot. It doesn't qualify. So that's something to be aware of if you're ever buying high-end singles, you know, don't, it's only only qualifies for the eBay authenticity if it's actually a single. It can't be part of a, a lot, even if it's a sort of a silly two card lot uh, as, as this one. Uh, this card here in a PSA nine qualifier is a pop five. There are thirty nine PSA nines without qualifiers, and four copies that are PSA tens. Number seven, nineteen ninety four Miami Bumblebee perforated Dwayne Johnson. It's graded a PSA gem mint ten. And uh, never quite sure how you grade the grade this card with perforations, but PSA considers it a gem mint 10. If you're wondering who Dwayne Johnson is, he later changed his name to The Rock, went on to a, a fantastic wrestling career, and of course, a uh, big time movie star career for, for Hollywood. Uh, back centering is also quite a bit off there for a PSA 10. Don't mean to be too critical of PSA, but uh, there it is. Sold an auction for $30,100. The sale is a little bit on the low side. The average of the last five sales, all in 2022, was 38,000. So down a little bit from uh, from those, but nothing uh, nothing super crazy. It is a PSA Pop 32. Number six, 2016 Bowman Chrome Prospects Gold Refractor Autograph, Juan Soto first Bowman Chrome card. It's graded BGS Gem Mint 9.5 with a 10 for the auto. Uh, subgrades are average for the grade. You get a 10 for centering but a nine for corners. The gold refractors are serial numbered out of 50. Sold an auction for $34,200. There was actually another sale of uh, this card in this exact grade just a couple weeks ago. That one went for 41,000. That was just after his trade, so probably got a little bit of uh, boost from the hype around the trade. But other than that, this is just the second sale of this card 
in any grade in 2022. So down about 15% from the sale uh, a couple of weeks ago. Otherwise, uh, no other comps to go off of. Number five, 2021 Panini Prism, Black Prism, number 103, Zion Williamson. It's graded BGS near mint mint eight with very strong subgrades for an eight. You get a 7.5 for centering, uh, but everything else is uh, at the nine and 8.5 level. Why do we get a 7.5 for centering? It looks pretty well centered. Maybe top to bottom uh, is off uh, there. Black Prisms, as we mentioned earlier, are one of ones. Sold as a buy it now for $45,000. This sale uh, is wildly high in my view. I, you know, Zion Williamson at one point was on the high rollers like two or three times a week for a good stretch a couple of years ago, but he hasn't been popping up lately. And this is a third year card. I suspect uh, there's a good chance that this sale is, you know, we're going to call the sale under review. Number four, I don't know what to make of this one. This is listed as an uh, old Bayreuth sports card. I've never seen this card. I, I don't recognize it. The seller doesn't know what it is and, and mentions that. I can see it's, uh, it's written Babe Ruth, King of Swat down at the bottom right. Card's in pretty nice shape. I, I'm assuming it's 100 years old or so, you know, assuming it's original. Uh, the back is blank, has a small crease and a little stain, but, you know, this is probably like at the VG level, something, something like that. Sold in auction, which is the incredible part, for $48,988.88. And there were 139 bids, so a lot of interest in this card. Uh, I looked at the bid history. I didn't see anything fishy. Again, look at the title, Old Babe Ruth Sports Card. The seller doesn't know what the card is. And uh, if you go to the description, it's even written no identification on the card. So incredible to me that this card would have sold for this much with that little information, it's very possible it's an original card and there are enough bidders out there who, you know, are willing to take the chance here. It's guaranteed by eBay authenticity, but what are they going to guarantee? That it is, in fact, an old Babe Ruth sports card? I mean, the seller has not listed what the card is, so I would assume it's going to pass eBay authenticity even if it's like a 50-year-old reprint type of thing. But, uh, yeah, very uh, very strange, uh, strange one to me. Number three, 2018 Topps Diamond Icons Diamond Autograph Gold. Shoei Otani rookie, graded a BGS pristine 10 with the only imperfection being a 9.5 for centering. This is uh, also a one of one, our third one of one so far on the top 10 list here. And the autograph actually gets a nine score. As you can see, yeah, the, the, there's parts of the auto that uh, where the, uh, the ink isn't particularly bold. Listed for 75K, sold as a best offer for 50 grand. Uh, 101 Shoei Otani uh, auto, BGS pristine 10, 50 grand. I guess that's current uh, market value. Number two, 1954 tops, number 128, Hank Aaron Rookie. It's graded a PSA near mint mint eight, older PSA label uh, from a, a few years ago at least. The centering left to right is noticeably, you know, not great for the eight level, but everything else looks very, very solid on this card, including the front and the back. Back has a couple lightly tipped corners, but uh, nothing, nothing too major. Sold as a buy now for $58,850. The sale is basically standard sale for a PSA 8. There have been a number of them uh, over the last you know few months, and the average of the last five or so is 57000 So, like I said, pretty standard sale here. It is a PSA Pop 193, and there are 35 copies graded higher, including two tens. And number one, 2022 Top Sterling Legendary Cut Signatures, Babe Ruth. It's graded a BGS Mint 9 with an 8 for the auto. Subgrades are a little low for a 9, but who really cares on a card like this? The card is a 1 of 1, our fourth 1 of 1 on the top 10 here. And uh, also features game used bat, uh, pieces of game-used bat memorabilia of Babe Ruth. Those are actual game-used bat uh, pieces from uh, by Babe Ruth himself. Sold as a buy it now for $60,000. As I mentioned, uh, Babe Ruth, uh, this is the second time ever that a player has appeared twice in the top 10 high rollers uh, with a vintage and a modern card. The only other time it was ever done was also by Babe Ruth. So congratulations to Mr. Ruth, some nice bit of high rollers trivia you can use to wow your friends at the bar. All right, let's check out some honorable mentions. We will start with pre-war baseball. One more Babe Ruth card to show you, 1921 W551 hand cut uh, strip card of Babe Ruth, PSA near mint mint eight. $23,856.99 in auction. That's a PSA Pop 4 with only two higher. 1933 DeLong Lou Gehrig. Beautiful set. I love this set. PSA EX5 goes for $17,281.91. More vintage baseball, but now we're post-war. 1971 Tops 
Roberto Clemente. That's in the high number series. I guess it's maybe in the semi-high number series. PSA near mint mint plus 8.5. Super tough card to get in high grade as uh, all the 71s are with the black borders. Just into five figures in auction. $10,099.99. I got mad hits like Rod Carew, 1968 Tops. Rod Carew is actually not a rookie second year card, although it has the Tops All Star rookie trophy on it, which is always popular. PSA Gem Mint 10, which is a pop 12, $14,565. Check your couch cushions to find an extra seven cents. You're going to need that to cover the cost on this one. 1980s Baseball is in the building. Let's get wild. 1985 Tops Tiffany. Roger Clemens, rookie, essentially his best card in the hobby. PSA, Gem Mint 10, $13,877.77. On to football, Kyler Murray, 2019 Panini Prism, Gold Prism Auto. PSA, Gem Mint 10, that's just a pop two, $12,369. More quarterbacks, 2018 National Treasures, Josh Allen, a rookie patch auto. BGS Near Mint Plus 7.5, the four-color patch, I guess we'll call it, out of 99 $23,100. Justin Herbert, 2020 Panini uh, Chronicles Prism Black Signatures Gold. Those are serial numbered out of 10. It's a PSA Mint 9, 13805 bucks. Vintage Football Jerry Kramer from 1959 Tops. PSA Gem Mint 10. That's just a pop three. You can thank the uh, PSA set registry for the price on this one. $14,988. On to basketball, 2018 Panini Immaculate Dual Auto of Luka Doncic and Trey Young. That's both of their rookie cards. PSA Near Mint Mint plus 8.5, serial numbered out of 49. Nice dual auto rookie card there. $14,800. Strikes me that that should be more, but uh, what do I know? 2021 National Treasures Joshua Primo Rookie Patch Auto with the Nike swooshes. is serial numbered out of 3. PSA Mint 9, $11,600. Vintage Basketball, 1961 Fleer, Wilt Chamberlain rookie from our Blazer division, a PSA Near Mint plus 7.5, uh, a little bit off center, but otherwise looks to be an absolute beauty, $15,600. They say centered in the title, but I would say that's uh, not particularly accurate. 1987 Fleer Basketball Wax Box, this is a certified by a baseball card exchange. No key rookies in this set, but it has the all-important Michael Jordan second year card, $11,655.55. I think you're on average, going to get three to four Jordans in a box. Here's our funny bogus sale of the week. 2009 Upper Deck Keith Kachuk. That's just a base card, uh, ungraded, and it has a dinged corner anyway. This card's probably worth, uh, you know, a few a few cents. But incredibly, it sold for a penny short of a million dollars. Luckily, if you missed out, they have an, uh, the seller has another one available for sale. And we'll finish with soccer. 2021 Topps Chrome uh, Black Refractor Auto of Kylian Mbappe. Apparently, this is his first auto card. It's a PSA near mint mint eight. This card's still numbered out of 20, and it fetched $18,098 in auction. But that's it. This week's top 10 featured two Babe Ruth and one each of Mickey Mantle, Shoei Otani, Russell Wilson, Zion Williamson, Juan Soto, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Hank Aaron, and LeBron James. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Tomorrow is regular rollers, and until next time, may the force be with you and look both ways before eating your vegetables. Hope you continue dominating life. Thanks, everyone.